I'm Armando Hasirigan, Biology and Medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook Armando Hasirigan. Here, like, and here you can also ask questions, answer questions, and post some interesting things, including your artworks. In this video, we're going to look at a uh, few hormones that regulate blood pressure. Um, the major hormones that regulate blood pressure um, act on the kidneys, or indirectly or directly. Let's have a look at four major hormones. Here I'm drawing some organs from where these major hormones can be secreted from. So first, let's look at the hormones that increase blood pressure by acting on the kidneys directly or indirectly. So essentially, the hormones that work to retain water and sodium and therefore increase blood pressure. Because if you have a lot of sodium in your body, if you don't know, that will increase blood pressure. So these hormones include um, the antidiuretic hormone which is secreted from the posterior pituitary gland somewhere in the brain and then you have the liver that actually secretes angiotensinogen which through some enzymes etc etc will be essentially converted to angiotensin 2 the final product and this will increase blood pressure the adrenal cortex can also release aldosterone which increases blood pressure now let's look at a hormone that work to increase water and sodium excretion and therefore aims to decrease blood pressure. This is only, we're only looking at one hormone here, and this hormone is surprisingly enough secreted from the heart, hormone known as anti, uh, sorry, atrial natriuretic peptide. And these are secreted by, from the atrial myocytes within the heart. Now the question is, because these hormones affect the kidneys indirectly or directly to regulate blood pressure, how does the kidneys regulate blood pressure? And how does water and sodium influence blood pressure? To understand this, let's just draw a bloodstream, the plasma, as well as the tubule of the nephron. Nephron are functional unit of the kidneys, essentially. Now, the golden rule of the kidney that we have to remember is that water tends to follow sodium because it, it's the same thing if we eat a lot of salty food, we, use, we tend to be thirsty. This is exactly the same as the golden rule of the kidneys where water tends to follow sodium. So let's look at three examples here of, diff, of when we have different amounts of sodium within the bloodstream. So when we have normal osmolarity in the plasma, this means that we have normal sodium concentrations within the plasma, within the bloodstream. Before seeing what happens, we have to remember that within the tube of the nephron, running through it constantly, we have sodium and water that are, that are running through, that is passing through, ready to be excreted in urine. When we have normal osmolarity, normal sodium concentrations, there can be secretion or reabsorption of sodium and water, but this would stay normal so we have normal blood pressure. However, what would happen when we have low osmolarity, low plasma osmolarity as we see um, here, when we have low sodium concentrations? This would mean that we also have low water concentrations and therefore uh, low plasma volume. A low plasma volume would imply that we have low blood pressure and therefore this would mean that we would increase sodium reabsorption from the tubule and this will also cause an increase in water reabsorption from the tubule and therefore we would increase the plasma volume which will increase blood pressure. Okay, that was that scenario. Now what would happen if we have high osmolarity and high plasma volume as seen here? We have a lot of sodium and a lot of water. So. When we have high osmolarity, high sodium concentrations, we, we would have high um, plasma volume due to the water. And this would mean that we would have high blood pressure. When this occurs, the body will hopefully decrease sodium reabsorption, which will therefore decrease water reabsorption, and therefore decrease plasma volume, which means that we would decrease blood pressure. I hope from all this, you, you can see how sodium, water, and plasma volume influence blood pressure, and how this actually works, this occurs within the kidneys. So now, let us look at the hormones in a lot more detail, each of the hormones in a lot more detail. 